I moved to Charlotte in December of 2012 and started going to Good Shepherd right away after that. And I was part of the congregation during the home series, which made quite an impression on me because I wasn't aware that the sex for, sex for profit industry could affect not just girls around the world, but here in Charlotte too. And I wanted to help whatever way I could. So when I moved here, I wasn't able to sell my home. I didn't get any type of assistance from work either. So I was stuck paying rent and mortgage at the same time. Two weeks after I moved, the pipes froze and burst in my house, causing over $60,000 worth of damage, which was pretty <laughs> devastating, to be honest. But honestly, it was such a big deal for me to get to move to Charlotte that I couldn't believe that God would help me to get this far and not help me to take care of it. So as the home series progressed, I was thinking each Sunday how I would be able to donate and how much I would be able to help and give and constantly had at the top of my mind how I'm gonna pay my bills and what was coming up and how I could be financially responsible. So as the last Sunday of that January came around, I was still kind of wrestling with it. And I just remember praying at the beginning of the sermon, God help me to be able to give as much as I possibly can because I think that what Good Shepherd was doing for those girls was truly amazing. Not just rescuing them, but giving them a home. And this number popped into my head. And at first I thought, oh, I'd love to give that much, but I don't think that I can afford to give that much. Maybe half of that, and or less than that. <laughs> And so I just kept praying about it and thinking about it throughout the sermon. And when it came time to put pen to check and to write the check, I wrote it for the full amount, just trusting in God that He had given me that number and He wanted me to donate that much. So I did. And less than a week later, I got a statement from an online savings account that I had forgotten that I had. I thought I'd closed it and it had almost that exact amount of money in it. So God truly works in amazing ways. So when I learned more about the Beyond campaign and what it would actually do for the people that belong to Good Shepherd and already attend, as well as for the future people that will attend the Zora Road campus, I was excited to give back. And when I thought about what it meant to give and to give extravagantly versus what you can always afford to give, it really wasn't a difficult decision for me. I mean, it's God's money to begin with, and He's blessed me so much, so why would I not want to give back to Him first? And if this is something that can truly impact other people and bring people to Good Shepherd so that they can experience God's love, I'm happy to do that.